Now let's look at part three of how to start your research, the crop test. We need to make sure that the sources we're finding are high quality sources. So how do you know if it's a high quality source? Well, the crop test will help you figure it out. CROP is an acronym that stands for currency. Is it recent? Relevance, does it fit your needs? Authority, is the author qualified to write about this? The second A is for accuracy. Is it correct and reliable? And finally, the P is for purpose. Why was this written? What questions can we ask ourselves to make sure that our article fits this test? For currency, we can ask, when was it published? Has it been updated? And is it current for your topic? If my topic is medical technology, this should be really recent. Something that's even two years old might be out of date. For relevance, is it related to your topic? Who's the intended audience? Is this for students, for researchers, for the general public? Is the information at an appropriate level? Can you understand it? Authority, you can ask who is the author, what is the source, and who is the publisher. You can look at these to make sure that these are respected sources of information in the field. And for accuracy, you can ask where does the information come from? Is it supported by evidence? And has it been reviewed by other experts? For purpose, you can ask do the authors make their purpose clear? Are they hiding their motivation or are they saying we're here to share our research? What is the purpose of the source? Is this source intended to sell you something, or is it just educating you? And finally, is the language free of emotion? Emotional language doesn't really have a place in academia, so if it's a good, high-quality research article, it probably doesn't have emotional language. Finding important information in an article, let's review. Here is a paper. I've got the publication date there, the title, the author names, the author organizations. I can see where they work. The abstract, that's a quick summary, and the journal title. I can see if the journal is a well-respected journal or maybe less respected. Here at the end of the article, I've got the references. That will tell me what other information they are using to inform their work. And then near the end, there may be a section called competing interest. And this article is that there are no competing interests. This is a place where the authors will state if they're working for a company that may benefit from their results. So let's apply the crap test to some real articles. Here's my research question. How does regular consumption of yogurt affect overall human health? That's what I'm looking for. And here is my article. I've got the publication date, 2022, September. Um, I'm making this video in 2024, so that is nice and up to date. I've got the title, Beneficial Effects of Yogurt and probiotic fermented milks and their functional food potential. That sounds pretty closely related to my topic. I've got an abstract here. I read that. It sounds like it's definitely going to give me information that I need for my research. Authority. I've got the authors here. Here's some more extra information about them. I can look them up on the internet, find other things that they've published. And I've got the corresponding author. That means it's an email address where I can send questions if I have them. That's pretty good authority then. The accuracy. Well, they have a, quite a lot of references, and I can look at those, look them up, open them up, and see that they're all high-quality references. So it looks like their accuracy is good. And for purpose, I've got a funding statement, no external funding. They weren't paid to do this. And conflicts of interest, the authors declare no conflict of interest. They're not working for a company that will benefit from this research. That means this is a pretty high-quality source for me. It fits the test. Let's look at a new one. Here we've got seven health benefits of yogurt for your busy life. And this looks pretty different. It's definitely not a, a scholarly article. Uh, so for currency, I can see that there is no date. Um, I don't know when this was written. For relevance, well, it really look like it's created to educate students or researchers. Um, it kind of looks like buy yogurt Jakarta. It looks so this looks like it's intended to sell something to me. I can read the menu at the top and it looks like it's actually a website that's selling food. I think for relevance, that's probably not good. For authority, I don't find any information on who wrote this. It's just published on this shopping site. For accuracy, there are no references here. This is not leading me to anything that tells me where they got their information. And for purpose, well, this purpose of this website is to sell me yogurt. I think they're going to tell me that yogurt is pretty good for my health. This is a very low quality article for my research. I'm going to throw it out and not use it at all. 
Let's do another one. Choosing dairy products for breakfast may give a healthy boost. That sounds a little emotional, but let's, let's examine it. For currency, I can see it was written in March of 2024. That's good. Very new. For relevance, well, when I read it, I can see that it's got a lot of good information that I'm looking for in my research. So I think it's pretty relevant. It looks like it's meant to educate people. It looks a little bit scholarly. I do see some features that look like it's intended to educate. For authority, I don't have any authors. It has no information on who wrote it. For accuracy, I can see quite a lot of references here. Some of them look pretty high quality. Um, and for accuracy, that could be good. I can do some further investigation. And for purpose, uh, well, I'm going to do some investigation. What is this website? What is this Dannon Institute? What do I know about it? If I do some Googling, I can find that, oh, actually, Dannon Yogurt Company. So Dannon Yogurt Company has the Dannon Institute to tell me about how healthy yogurt is for my body. I can keep looking and maybe see if this is actually an okay source, but but honestly, I know that it's trying to sell me yogurt, so I think that's perhaps not a good purpose for my research. So I'm going to give it a red X for purpose. Let's look at another one. Here we've got yogurt, and when I look at the currency, I can see at the bottom it says last reviewed November 2019. It's pretty up to date, not super new. I'll give that an okay. For relevance, when I read it, I can find this is exactly what I'm looking for for my research. It's answering a lot of the questions that I have. Um, for authority, well, this is from the Harvard School of Public Health. I'm going to assume that these are high quality sources. It's been checked by Harvard and accepted to publish on their website. There is no author here, but if Harvard is accepting it, I am going to say that their authority is strong enough to give this a pass. Here for accuracy, they've got Quite a lot of very high quality references. They're Harvard. Their accuracy looks good. And their purpose, this looks like it's really intended to inform and educate educators, researchers, students, possibly the general public, but it looks like it's intended to educate. I'm going to give this one a very good results for the crap test. Another one. Here's Yogurt 101, Nutrition Facts and Health Benefits. Uh, this looks pretty different. This is definitely not a scholarly article. I can see right away that there's an ad in the middle of the page that's maybe not positive. Currency. Uh, when I look at the bottom, I can find that it's from, it was written in 2019, but it was updated in 2023. That's pretty good. For relevance, when I read it, I find a lot of the information I'm looking for, and it looks like it's meant to inform the general public. So that seems like it's got okay relevance. For authority, I see the researcher here. I can see his degrees. There's nothing here that tells me what he's associated with. He doesn't seem to be an academic. Um, he does have degrees. I can do some more Googling, but it's not obvious to me right away that he is an authority on this. Um, for accuracy, all of the article contains references. They look like Vancouver-style references, in fact. These take me to the references page where I can find links to all of these pieces of information. So that's pretty good for accuracy. And what about purpose? Well, I said I saw that ad, and when I look at the bottom, I can find more things on sponsored topics. And this definitely looks like it's intended to be selling me some things. So for purpose, I'm going to say I'm not sure. It looks like it's kind of meant to inform or educate, but it also looks like it may be commercial. Let's look at this one. This is definitely an academic article. Uh, first of all, oh, when I look at the currency, I can see that it's from January of 1999. That's not exactly new. And for relevance, bacteria used for the production of yogurt inactivate carcinogens and prevent DNA damage in the colon of rats. Definitely not relevant for my purposes. I'm definitely looking at human health. I'm going to stop right here. It's got two big red X's right at the top, and I'll finish with this article completely. Let's look at another one. This looks like more like a scholarly article. Here we've got the currency. At the bottom, I can see it's from August 2023. That's updated. The relevance, when I read the abstract, it sounds just like what I'm looking for. For authority, I can see both the author's name and also what he's affiliated with. And I've got an email for the author. For accuracy, I can see lots of high quality references here. I can go look those up and make sure that they are, they are acceptable. And for purpose, this is definitely just intended to inform. It's from Nutrition and Health Journal. Um, I think this one gets a good score all the way around for the crap test. Currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. 
if you can verify that those are all high quality for your source, then you probably have a source that works well for you. Make sure your sources pass the test. Good luck on your research.